Hey, I started a Discord server. You can send Wavex challenges, get mad at me for my Aquamarine video, or ask me questions, or send memes or something. Link is in the description. You know how sometimes a top 20 gets verified and like tons of people talk about it for maybe about 4 days and then it just doesn't get rated? Well, there are many extreme demons that aren't rated, and while out of those hundreds may be just unrateable garbage, there are still many rate-worthy and feature-worthy, and sometimes even epic-worthy extreme demons out there that aren't rated yet. I'm not just going by the, well, if Thinking Space got rated requirement either. I mean, like, there are some legitimately good levels that have not been rated yet for seemingly no reason. So today, let's go through the top 10 most mentioned unrated extreme demons when I made a community post about this for a video, and some possibilities on why they could be unrated other than just the mod system, which we'll get a little bit into later. At 10th place, we have Void of Thought. Void of Thought is a remake of Thinking Space in a more, let's say, tolerable style. Some Thinking Space fans, which I know are hard to find, don't like Void of Thought because it doesn't have any charm from the original. While I agree, even if you can't say Thinking Space has charm, I also think that it is better than Thinking Space overall, even if that's a low bar. I don't really like the level, but I acknowledge that it is rate worthy by most standards, other than it just being unoriginal. Which is more of a reason to clown on it than it is to keep it from being rated. At 9th place we have Henkin. Henkin is an improved 1.9 style top 15 extreme demon. While the decoration is reminiscent of 1.9, it has improved detail and ends up looking really good in my opinion. I like this level. I mean, it could use a few tweaks here and there, but that doesn't really matter. There are 1.9 styled levels that are arguably worse than Henkin that are already rated. I can't see why this isn't rated either. Like, at least there is some argument that Void of Thought is unoriginal and bland, but this is better in both of those categories. I also kind of find it hard to believe that people haven't seen this level because, I mean, first off, XN showcased it, and enough people mentioned it in my community post. At 8th, we have Puku, a Chris Has a Lisp level. It's a top 5, or I guess by now, it's a top 10 modern themed extreme with lots of interesting decoration. The reasons why this isn't rated sort of are a little more confusing. Chris has already addressed the stolen asset situation if I recall correctly and the name shouldn't be grounds for a rate ban. Yes guys, let's not rate this level because it has the word poo in it, that, that makes sense. Also, I think this has more to do with the fact that it is a Chris level than the actual level itself, and like, none of his stuff ever gets rated. I'm thinking it's probably due to mod bias. By the way, if you are a mod watching this, I'd kind of like an explanation because I, I kind of want an answer. Also, it's not an Aki remake, this has been stated multiple times. For 7th, we have Rain. This level should have been featured, like, at least. I think there is an argument that you could make for it to be considered epic. It has unique decoration that's actually good, it has good intensity and, I guess, atmosphere, and so forth. I swear, if someone says it's because it's a Nong song, I don't really think that having a Nong song should be grounds to just have the level not be rated, because if it's an easier level, you'll beat it fast enough that it doesn't matter whether there's music playing or not, and if it's a harder level, you'll take the effort of downloading the song. The only problem is it kind of screws over iOS players who don't want to, you know, take like 15 million extra steps to try to go ahead and download the song. But we've seen levels that have non-songs rated all the time. At number 6 we have Hazardous Haste. Again, can't really think of a reason why this isn't rated. I mean, it has stunningly good deco, a new ground song, etc. I mean, it's the same thing, it basically should just be rated by now. So at number 5 we have Call Me Maybe, which is a pretty much the exact same story as Rain, but I don't personally like the deco as much, which even still, I do acknowledge and I do think it is actually rateworthy. And it's not like this isn't well known, I'm definitely sure mods have seen it, I mean literally Aeon Air made a video on this. From what I've heard, the mod system very much is dependent on voting, on sending the level and things like that, which I think is just so inefficient and redundant. Like, I don't really see the advantages to that. All you're really doing is pissing off more people. There are enough people who have been recently screwed over by this new system in place that I wouldn't be surprised if someone organized a detailed long video in collaboration with many other creators going over why the system is flawed and how it should be fixed, or could be fixed. At number 4 we have Shiketsu. This was verified on the same day as Abyss of Darkness, and it's still not rated despite being the best Kawarela level I've ever seen. This has a very good design and I like the style, especially all of the text saying stuff like stop buffing a nemesis and sonic wave number 120. 
Again, there isn't really a reason why this doesn't deserve a rate other than maybe Nong Song, but again, we've seen many other levels rated before with Nong Song. I think it has its own originality as well, I think it adds more to the Kawaretta style. At number 3 we have Oblivion. Again, this isn't really a level that I like, but it's rate worthy for sure. It's basically a better cognition, and while it does have a less claustrophobic atmosphere than cognition, I don't really see why this shouldn't be rated. And I'm gonna be honest, I really don't like cognition. Sue me, I don't care. I don't like cognition, I don't really like its style, I don't like this level much. But I can still acknowledge that this is rate worthy. I mean, it's better than cognition, at least in my opinion. At number two, we have Diabolic Club Step. So this level's, um, we'll say complicated. This is the only level on the list where I can see kind of why it's not rated. But this was a potential top one back when it was verified, and now that everyone knows about it, I think it should be rated. It certainly wouldn't be the worst level in the top 10. I'll give this one sort of a pass because it was pretty unknown at the time. I think by now, I would consider it weight worthy. And Sevent put lots of effort into verifying the level. I know he's redecorating it, I think, like again, so it is possible that that will be rate worthy, but I'm not sure. And finally, the most mentioned level we have at number one, Fonk Town. This level is absolutely the prime example of unrated extreme demons that deserve a rate. This just doesn't make any sense. I mean, the song's on new grounds. So why are all these levels unrated? Well, this isn't close to all of them. There were more levels mentioned, like Doom, Hanger Lord, Crystal Edge for funnies, The Nautical, Tuku, Silent Circles, Zinvire's version, Cursed Corridor, Haunted Corridor, Enjoy, Abandoned, Sicket of Fashion, Acropolis, Stormy Landscape, Graceful, Gra Glacial Core, Telecron, we can keep going on. There's more. Sure, maybe not all of these deserve a rate, but most of them do. I think the system probably needs to be reworked, or at least reverted back to how it was before voting became a big thing, just to send a level to RobTob, and I think mods in general have a higher standard than RobTob himself. This isn't necessarily the fault of the mods or RobTob or Viper, nor really anyone, there's just not a good system in place for rating demons right now. Most moderators are perfectly fine, and I just think that the system in place is not good or really should be reverted. It's not that mods haven't seen some of these levels, I mean, there's no way none of them have seen Diabolic Club Step or any of Chris's levels. Again, mostly not the fault of mods except for when it comes to Chris's level, because I think that's kind of ridiculous. But something should be done, as this is just blatantly unfair to creators. I think the vast majority of the moderators mostly are fine, and I think there should be something done about this. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe for more videos like this and comment down below some levels that you think should be rated or any other opinions you have on the rating system. See you all in the next one.